he was an honorable and he was a brave person who helped many people. Uh, he was always kind, always uh, there for me to comfort me, tell me not to worry, that God was with me. When I think about Ray Franz, the first thing that comes to mind is about his sweet smile and the compassion and concern he had for others. Uh, Ray had an excellent sense of humor, very dry humor, and he always would interject something cute or funny when we were together. I never met Ray Franz, but I dared to read Crisis of Conscience while I was still one of Jehovah's Witnesses. Uh, Ray uh, Franz meant a lot to me, and he helped free my mind. And it changed my life. And they confirmed the questions that I had in my mind. And we are able then to see the truth. We are peering into a dark place and uh, Ray really shined light into that dark place and we now know. I wanted to add my voice to the others in tribute of Ray Franz. He was a true man of integrity who, when he realized all was not well in the Watchtower Society, had the courage to speak up even though it meant at the age of about 60 years old, he had to leave a life as a leader of a multi-million dollar corporation where he would have had adoration, security, and comfort for the rest of his life to live in a borrowed trailer with no social security income, no marketable skills, and with only a handful of true friends. He had noted that during his experience at Brooklyn with the Watchtower Society and the governing body members when they were going through all those meetings. His biggest concern was that some of God's beautiful truths might appear ugly through all those proceedings. And I just thought the man had pure motives. Carmen, I knew all the men that he, he dealt with who were alive when I was in Bethel. And I could really empathize with what he said in his book because I knew these personalities of these men and what he said in the book fit. Thank you, Ray, for your sincerity, your humanity, and your courage to act. So Ray has been there for me 25 years, always there to help me, to guide me, to give me hints as to what the society might do, never bashing the society uh, or anything like that, but always humbly helping me to be able to help others to find the truth that is in Christ and not in organization. To take courage in the fact that he was a brave person. Because that's exactly what it was for me, a crisis of conscience. Um, I can't even understand the kind of courage and nerve that it would have taken to stand up to the Watchtower back when he did. Um, I find it amazing. Um, I don't meet a lot of people with that kind of courage. Reading his kind words, it was impossible to come away with the picture the society tried to paint of former members. I miss him because I don't know of anyone else that I could go to that was as kind and loving as he was. And he loved to be with people to help them, to talk with them, to help them and guide them. It gave him a lot of reason to live. And that's why he had, he has hundreds of emails to answer, because he, people responded to his book and they wanted to talk to him and he always answered their emails. So a huge thank you to Ray Franz and to his wife Cynthia, who supported him in his decisions and in life for me and my free family. I just want to send our sympathies to his dear wife and family. So. My wife and I are deeply grateful to Ray for everything he did, and uh, may he rest in peace, and uh, we're very, very appreciative of the freedom of mind that he gave us, so just wanted to make that contribution. Thank you. I will miss him sorely, and I hope to see him again. It changed my life, and so I owe that to Ray. Thank you, Ray. And so that's my statement. And I just want everyone to know that I love him very much. Thank you.